here just coming with a new video for you just to discuss products as part of the try something new series and um, the reason I feel like it's important to think about your products particularly what ingredients are in it is because basically I got a call as I mentioned in video number seven from my friend she's currently um, relaxed but she's leaving a lot of time between um, re-relaxing and her hair's an extension so I think she's possibly deciding whether or not to go natural basically she gave me a call the other day because she was just doing a quick wash and blow dry and she found that rather than it being a quick process it actually took a lot longer than what she anticipated and also that her hair was really dry when she finished so she actually gave me a call and she asked me you know what products do you use um, and at the time I was a bit stumped as to what to tell her, I told her what products I use and the only thing I could think to tell her was to maybe try and avoid products which have um, sodium laurel sulphate in it or sulphates and the reason being stems back to when I was relaxed basically last year when I was, re when I was relaxed, I don't know if you've seen my um, hair story video basically in it I've told you that you know when my hair came out of the weave it was around this length, so shoulder length and then for whatever reason gradually it started breaking off on one side and every time I went to my hairdressers she would say oh Sian it's breaking off until eventually I had this sort of um, asymmetrical short style um, also at the time when I got my hair cut like that I was also working out two to three times a week quite vigorously and I was really concerned about the effect you know of you know the sweat on my hair bearing in mind that it was already broken off as, or breaking off as well so at the time I actually stumbled upon a website which um, was discussing how to maintain healthy relaxed hair whilst working out and one of the things that website mentioned or the article I should say one of the things the article mentioned was to avoid products which have sodium laurel sulfates in it and that was the first time that I ever thought about you know what ingredients were in my product previous to that when deciding about what products I wanted to use the only thing I thought about really was whether a product was you know for black hair versus you know products for more commercial hair that you see advertised on TV so you know whether I went to PAX to get my products or to Boots and obviously I went to PAX to get my products if you don't know what PAX is it's a hair shop in um, the UK so yeah that was as much thought as I gave to products whether you know it's just for black hair or not um, so at that at that time I decided to try and you know find products which were sodium laurel sulfate free and in the article um, it talked about why you know you should avoid sodium laurel sulfate products uh, basically sodium laurel sulfate is a chemical that is found in lots of different detergents also you know body washes things like that the reason being it's very good at um, sh removing grease and grime so it's a it's a good detergent for stripping um oils and things like that so you know it's good for our hair in terms of its stripping abilities to remove any sort of product build-ups and um, the downside to it is that it also strips away um, it also can strip away the natural oils that occur on our scalp and hair so it's not a moisturizing agent and it's also not a conditioning agent and also when I you know said that to my friend when she looked on the ingredient the ingredients list of the product that she had used sure enough sodium neural sulfate was one of the top ingredients so that just highlights that you've got to be aware of you know what ingredients you're using in your products and I'm luckily I've done some digging in my um, bathroom and I've actually found um, a product that I used to use when I was relaxed so I'll just um, show you it the ingredients list I'm going to try and show it to you without revealing, you know, the actual name of the product because I don't want to get sued or anything. But here, as you can see, oh, I should have done my nails, sorry. So the first ingredient is um, water, aqua. The second ingredient is something that I can't pronounce. And the third ingredient, or the fourth, is ammonium laurel sulfate. And also further down, it does actually have um, laurel sulfate. So if you go around there, sodium laurel sulfate. So yeah, so that's why I think it's important just to be aware of, you know, what ingredients is in your product. Because although um, this product, it actually said it's meant to be, it neutralises conditions and detangles. 
possibly because it has sodium lauryl sulfate in it, you might find that your hair is, you know, a lot drier when you use it. So that's why it's important. Um, I've also do, been doing further research, and when I was um, thinking about going natural, I looked on lots of information, lots of websites around other um, sort of products that might be questionable for your hair. So another product is um, petroleum or mineral oil, which is found in, you know, greases, you know, everyone, you, you know, I used to use Blue Magic Grease, Dax, you know, Vaseline, that is all mineral petroleum based products. Um, and the reason being some there is some debate around whether it's damaging to your hair is because some people say that the petroleum actually blocks your hair follicles and slows down hair growth. They also say that it can build up on your actual hair shaft, so your actual, you know, strand of hair, and it stops the moisture from getting in. It's a barrier for moisture. Now again, my advice with regards to this is um, to feel you know, when you use these products, feel how it makes your hair feel. Because I have seen some natural women, they say that, you know, they've been using petroleum-based products for years and it's fine, their hair is thriving with it. So it's really about, you know, if you use a product and you find that it's meant to be moisturising, conditioning, and it's not, then, then maybe reconsider it. But if you use it and it's fine, then again, you're fine. Um, another ingredient as well is silicones. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to find any... Um, products that I particularly have hair that has silicones in it or um, but some of the things to look out for I'm just going to try and pronounce it because I've written it down it's dime dimethicone or cyclomethicone and there are lots of other silicones as well which is beyond me to even tell you because I'm not sort of scientist or expert but yeah it's again um, the reason being is that again it's silic products with silicone such as shampoos and conditioners are harder to rinse out of your hair therefore you know you get build up on your hair and also again it says that it bonds to the hair and it doesn't allow the moisture to get into the hair shaft so a similar thing I think you know in a different way different different chemical way but a similar I think notion to the petroleum that it somehow builds up on your hair and prevents moisture going in if you use a product, you know, a silicone based product and you find, you know, your hair is fine and you manage, you manage your hair fine, then again, you know, continue to use it and your hair is thriving. But if you find that, you know, your hair is dry when you use it, or also as well silicones, they say that some types, some silicones, there's loads, but some of them actually weigh down the hair and give it, you know, a sort of dull, weighed down feeling. If you find that that's the feeling that you're getting and you're not happy with it, Again, you know, have a look at your product bottle and see what's in it. So that's a quick, um, you know, discussion about products. I do think it's so important to really think about what's going into your products. And as my friend um, discovered when she called me, when she looked on the bottle, as I said, she had sodium lauryl sulfate as a main ingredient. I'm not saying that is the only reason why, you know, her hair was dry. Um, you know, there's other things as well, you know, such as the methods you use. So she was blow drying her hair. A thing to say about blow drying, since going natural I don't really like blow drying or using any sort of heating method, straightening, anything like that. The reason being is because our hair, because of our um because of its curl pattern, it has a tendency or proneness to be dry. Reason being is the natural oils on our scalp have difficulty working their way down our um, hair strand versus say someone who has straight hair so that's why afro textured hair kinky curly hair is more prone to dryness and what um, you know heat does basically it dries out the hair even more and some people find that they suffer heat damage so yeah so that's a quick video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you find it informative if you've got any questions comments anything you want to add because as I said I'm no expert so if there's anyone out there who knows you know the deal about products and ingredients and things what's in what's going on in them you know please feel free to comment don't you wanna try new things, baby?